Good morning. George Adventure here. Early this morning. Rise and shine. Got up early as usual. Uh, it's the best time to do videos. I get up and get Miss Linda off to work, then I'll do my videos because it's nice and quiet in here. Uh, I don't have my grandbabies today. I'll get them next Monday. So anyway, uh, I found a very interesting scout knife, Boy Scout knife, at an antique dealer, antique shop. Uh, and I've never seen one like it. I mean, it's a, it's a camp knife. And uh, so I didn't get it because I, 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 had, I had three knives. When I saw this and I'd already had three knives I bought. So I thought, well, Miss Landa, she wanted me to get it. And I said, ah, I'll come back. We'll come back, see if it's still here. Well, we went back Saturday and it was still there. And uh, this is a very unique looking scout count knife. I've never, I've never seen one with this, with this shield, this embossed, whatever you want, however you want to say it, describe it. Actually, in the handle material, you can see there. Uh, but it's got the Bo Boy Scout. Logo. It's not a. It's not a. Actually, a shield that they glue onto the handle. It's. It's actually engraved. However, they do it, embossed or whatever. It, it actually in the handle material, and I'm sure this is Delrin. Uh, it was dirty. Uh, I cleaned it up. I soaked it in mineral oil overnight, and then. Uh, Wiped it off, let it drain, cleaned it up, and then I took it out to my shop and got the Dremel out and got some 2,000 grit sandpaper out and got some polishing cloth and uh, got it cleaned up. Uh, it's a cool knife. Uh, cleaned the blades up real good. Still got a little bit on it, but that's about as good as I want to do it. I'm about to leave just a little of the character on it uh, you can see it's got that spear point blade this blade doesn't have any really any snap to it it's it's old I don't know what the year of it is I'm gonna find out but it is you can see it's an imperial Let's see if I can get that up there. It's an Imperial. And Camellus makes these, Case Knife makes them, Remington makes them. There's a lot of a lot of knife makers, old USA knife makers that make these. K bar, but you can see it's got Imperial on there, USA. Uh, and it's got the standard. Standard uh, blades that'd be on a scout knife. It's got the bottle opener with the with the screwdriver. It's got that one, and it's got the can opener right here. Now these blades got these blades have good they have good uh, good snap to them. It also has the, the little finger groove here where you put your finger and pull the blade out. Guess what you want to do? So your finger fits right there and it comes out. Uh, and it's got the it's got the all or whatever, whatever they call it, right here. Uh, just use this to punch holes with, whatever. This seems like it's been sharpened just a little bit. Uh, but 
but it's got a, it's got you know it's got some uses. Like I said, you can punch leather or, or whatever you need to put a punch. It's basically a punch blade or an awl, you know, however you wanna whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what the official name is. It's got some great snap on it. I've cleaned it up. I don't think the I don't think the snap. Well, it's it'll it'll snap that way. But I don't think it's gonna. I've worked it, but it's it's hitting the all a little bit. I think that's part of the problem. And it's got the bell on it. See right here. But I, I never, I've never seen, uh, I've never seen a scout knife with this type handle and the logo on, on it right here. So I thought I'm gonna do some research on it, see what I can find. It's a, uh, it's a unique, it's a unique knife to me. She had it in a glass case. She had a uh, K bar. I think it was a K-Bar. No, I'm sorry. It was a Camellius uh, count knife. It wasn't a scout. It had the it had the shield on it. Uh, said, I think it said USA on the shield. But it, it was real rough, and I didn't get it. It was a good deal, but yeah, I just didn't get it. It was it was pretty rough looking. The, the handle was messed up, and the covers were messed up a little bit. But this one's pretty pristine. It's it's like I said, the only only really only thing is that this don't have much snap to it, unless you're opening it the other way. You know, it's got a little snap. But I like it. I'm glad I went back and got it. They got they got several cabinets with knives in them, uh, and they you know they have people come and add add knives to them to them so. There's, a, there's one cabinet in the antique place that's got some good deals on some case knives. I'm going to go back by there, some older case. I'll probably pick one or two of them up. But I always look, which I always look for old case knives, but I always look for the Camellias. I always look for the K-Bar, King Cutter, the Imperial, any of the old, any of the older knives. And I, and I really love the Camp Knife. I really love these Camp Knives. Um, I just think it's a, I just think it's a cool, I think it's a cool knife, man. I just think this scout emblem on it, the way it's done, is just awesome. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. I think it's, I think it's a pretty neat knife. Uh, and it's just going to go in my collection. I've got a Western, uh, I've got a Western count knife. That Ozark Ozark boy sent me. Uh, he sent me a while back, and it is it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful count knife. I mean, it's it's mint. So anyway, I like to pick the count knives up when I go to antique stores. I look, and uh, you know, that's one of the first things I look for. So. But anyway, y'all have a great day. God bless you. Appreciate the comment. Appreciate you hitting the like button. Uh, subscribe. God bless you. Y'all be safe out there. This is George Adventure.